Oh, where the fuck are we now? Oh, we're in a village. Get on with it. You betrayed us. Hmm, I can't really get in there, so I guess we're going in here. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I guess we came the wrong way for no reason. <laughs> Alright. Back down the stairs. Oh, what are these people yelling about anyway? Position. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kynes Grove this time. Yeah, I killed it. Traitor. Right, who's Alright, who keeps saying this? It's upsetting me. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Later. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Liar. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. I don't know, should I do something? Oh my god. On this day, I go to Sovereign Guard. I can't do it. Oh crap. I didn't do it. I didn't make it in time. I was gonna actually stop it, but he already cut his head off by the time I. I'm waiting. Yes. You wouldn't be a cell sword, would you? I have a little problem you could solve. Uh oh. Mind yourself in my city, friend. This here axe in full swing is a right terrible sight. You stay out of trouble now. The Castle Dower Dungeon can break even the strongest will. It shouldn't have been like this. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. Not right now. Rogvir, why did it have to be like this? A man opens a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. Shame, Rogvir. You're a good man. I'm just curious. If I was able to stop that, what would have happened? I guess we'll never know. 23. You dick. You know you can afford a septum or two. Well, nothing I could have done. Let's go to the winking skeever. Winking, winking. Wow. I didn't shut off the recording that time and the load time actually took twice as long. Interesting. Are you feeling sick? Nah, what have you got for Drink sale? For the thirsty, food for the hungry. And time pros. Interesting. Hmm. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot sore. All right, so this is our man, I guess. What do you need? Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. 
I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. What kind of things should I bring? You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Hold on, there's a few things. I need to get a few things ready. I'll, I'll give you a few more minutes. I can't wait here all day. It's my neck on the line, remember? Alright, so next time we will infiltrate the Thalmor. You ready yet? I need to get back before I missed. All right, so we're back and we're making a new save because I don't yet? trust things when I purchase your inventory. Remember, you won't have anything except what I smuggle in for you. All right. Um. All right. I'm ready. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Hmm. I mean, as long as I have my... Like, what possessions would I have? Would I have my... Clothing? Hmm... I'll give him my bow. <laughs> my steel sword. Some arrows. And yeah, that's it. Oh, and a shield, I guess. Feel free to make requests. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs>